In today's video, I will teach you how to make a pest control business card in Canva. Let's get started. Now that we've made a logo and flyers for our pest control business, it's time to make business cards to further advertise your business. First, open Canva and in the home page, type in the keyword business card on the search bar if you would like to customize one of the hundreds of available business card templates for pest control business and Canva's template library. To choose the right design for you, you can simply enable some of the filters on the sidebar to narrow down your choices. You can also start from scratch by clicking on the Create the Design option at the top panel and click on the Custom Size option, then input your desired width and height. And once you've opened your canvas or template, you can now customize your business card based on your preferred design. Now, you can add your information and swap out fonts and colors to reflect your brand. You can even create different versions of your business cards for different clients. If you would like to be more precise with your work, you can enable the guidelines, print please, and margin on the file tab. To import images and brand elements to Canva, you can simply open the uploads tab to import images from your computer. In case of the elements, you can add illustrations and graphics from the elements tab. Simply search the keyword for different types of elements, and in case of your pest control business, Canva has a vast collection of elements under the pest control keyword. To add text, simply open the text tab and select which type of text you would like to make, or simply use the text combination presets in the text library. And on the top panel, you can change the font style, the font size, and the color of the text. Make sure to add your contact information, social media handles, as well as the location of your sites so that people can reach out to your business easily. To save your work, you can simply click on the share button at the upper right side of the screen and select download and choose the right format for your file. I highly recommend using either PNG or JPG as a file format. And you're done! If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.